because farm is in your blood. I like getting out in the tractor and doing the field work and being in touch with the ground. My name is Ken Wanniger. We have a farm here in Woodland, Wisconsin. Our primary is a dairy farm. Uh, we produce milk for uh, family dairies and farm first. My name is Mary Wenniger and I am the part owner of the farm here at Wenniger Farms. My grandpa came over from Switzerland when he was about 18 years old and he came to this area and he got married and they started a family and they always were crop shares. So my dad grew up on many different farms and they were crop shares all their life. And about the time maybe when my dad um, he did most of the farming. He stayed home and did the farming with my grandpa. And then um, he had met my mom in Milwaukee. She was a city girl. And after that, then they purchased this farm in about 1961 or 62. When I met my husband, um, we purchased this farm from them in about 1990. And we've been farming here ever since. My name is Leah and on the farm, I take care of the cows, any basically daily chores, and I work a lot with the calves. I'm Sheila Wanniger, and um, I'm obviously one of the daughters. Um, I do work off the farm right now, but um, when I do get back onto the farm, I help with the daily chores, milking, and field work, and you know, pretty much anything. The typical day is we get up around 5.30 and get going. We get here usually around 6 at the latest, hopefully. So we start with the morning chores. It's always the milking of the animals, feeding of all the animals, doing all the daily chores, cleaning them, bedding them. They go out to eat, they come back in. And then again around 4 o'clock at night, we start it all over again. And we finish around 7 o'clock at night. On our farm, every single cow is named. Even passed on through the generation of the cows. We run about 250 acres of cropland and we have um, 41 milking cows, and there's probably like between 30 to 35 calves, young stock, which is the heifers, and God only knows how many cats there are running around here. There's numerous cats. In summertime, we have two pigs and we also have at least 15 goats. <laughs> the recent trade climate, um, our margins have been smaller and uh, we're trying to get by doing with uh, less income. You end up taking money, you know, if you have reserves, um, you can't replace equipment or upgrade things like you'd like to. Um, so you kind of got to deal with what you have and keep within your, uh, your spending limits, you know. The biggest fear is probably having big corporations take over and we lose that family feeling or the way to raise a family. People on the outside have a different idea of this beautiful little family farm and it's really not becoming that anymore. Not saying that big farms are bad, but it's just a different way business is going. I do see more of the small family farms you know, disappearing just because, you know, companies are getting bigger and taking over more and, um, you know, it's just the reality of everything. There was no better way to raise children. I mean, there is days where it, it's long and, but when they can be right aside you and learning things and being there with you and watching them grow up, and that's a, a neat way to raise a family. One of the other biggest things is our family time mm -hmm. on the farm. And in summer, we're all working here, uh, getting the crops in. Um, whether it's 12 o'clock at night, we're all working together. And, you know, just bonding with our family is something really important to us.